Can I have my gardening gloves? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, this is the funnest thing we've done at camp so far. And it makes the park look beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. They have... Some of the kids have more... People? People. Well, that's considered they're different sized families. You got your small families like us, and you got big families with lots of brothers and sisters. Well, but they'll plant more than us. Hey. I bet they won't. Natalia! Look at this. I'll go get your tools. Okay. Oh, tools. So how was the interview? <laughs> um, Towers was not interested. Oh, I'm sorry. But Blake Marler was. Blake! She's Blake. going into publishing. She might want an assistant. She's a tough person to work for. Think so? Mm hmm That's funny. She said the same thing about you. <laughs> You did, you did. And while we didn't do more than anyone in the park, you certainly won the biggest contest, which was planning the most amongst the three of us. Mm -hmm. I really did. You really did. <laughs> I love her. She just sees the joy in everything she does. I think she gets that from you. No, you're her mother. I'm not that person. What person? The person who sees the good in everything that she does. I'm usually waiting for the other brick to fly at me and hit my head. Mm. See, that's what I mean. I'm having a serious conversation about the complexities of the human condition, and you're laughing. I'm sorry. It's really just, it's the first time I got to laugh today. Let's not make it the last, okay? Hey, sweetie. I just uh, wanted to let you know there's still a lot of birthday cake left at the house. Um, so come by if you want some. It's really good. Okay, bye. I don't know what else to do. I don't think there's anything else you can do. There has to be. Because I just want him to be happy, and that's all I've ever done, is just try to make my son happy. And, you know, he was a kid, but he's a man now, and he's going to have to figure out a way to make himself happy. But I'm his mom. And his parents would just want our kids to be okay. This is this is the first time that making things okay for Rafe is not the same as what will make things okay for me. Am I ever gonna make this okay for me and for Rafe? I don't know. Brave, you don't have to talk to me, but if you could call me back and just let me know that you're okay, that, that would be great. Please. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm really gonna just sort this all out and I'm, I'll... I'll fix everything with Rafe, and then and then it'll be done. It's okay. I don't mind waiting. Hey. hey. I do. You do? I do. What? You I do what? mind. I, I mind waiting. I am so done with waiting. That is all we've been doing, is waiting. Since the first second that we explained to each other how we feel, we've been waiting. First we were waiting for Frank to be okay, and then we were waiting for Rafe to get out of jail, and then for him to adjust. And then we had to wait for him to understand and accept us. And then as soon as that's done, then we're going to be waiting to explain it to Emma. And then after that, we're going to have to wait and see how the neighbors feel about it. And then after that, there's going to be something else to wait for. And I don't want to. I don't, I don't want, want to wait. wait. I don't I don't want to wait. Come on, guys. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Nothing. We're not waiting for anything. Coming up on Guiding Light is about Emma. I'm going to sit her down when she gets home from school, and I'm going to tell her about us.